Salutations, everyone. It's that time again for another Road Least Traveled video. We're going to start Slate, uh, Secret of the Slaver Stockade, aka Slave Lords Part 2. Part Adieu. Yeah, I wish I knew these quests better. Could give you guys more tips, tricks, and advice on them. I just. Other than being slow and methodical and trying to get through them in the most efficient manner possible, I just don't know them very well. Your search for the slave lords has led to a large fortress complex deep in the wilderness. The clatter and clang of armor can be heard from down the hallway. The clamor of creatures preparing for This one is uh, one of the ones I actually do enjoy the most of the three though. Not sure why exactly. Maybe it's just the train constantly flitting around. There's like one or two places where I don't care for very much, but for the most part I do like this one. It could also just be that the quest is mostly hobgoblins and I do love killing some hobgoblins. Who knows? We Samus go down the hole. All right. The outer courtyard is used as a mustering pit where the slavers meet before going out on raids. Only my job is to run behind me and shoot things. So, he healed up here. I'm pretty sure these guys are taking damage from the cold breath, even if I'm not seeing the animation every time. I don't, I don't know that to be sure, but it seems like, for the most part, that's been true. Uh, also, your sonic glass goes up through two doors and stuff. We've talked about that before. Sound, sound can go around things. Makes sense, at least a little bit. kissed. Apparently, apparently kissing my boo-boos are out of the question today.
So we obviously have a lever we need to pull because this door is closed. And if I remember correctly, this is one of those interesting places with levers like right here. And then you just turn around and, and go back. So here's a lever. That's the lever we're looking for. Going further is heartbreak. Heartbreak and nonsense, if I remember right. Because that's, that's how I choose to remember it right now. Maybe that ice storm is gonna spawn like way late. More down, right? I don't see any opportunity to murder goblins from above. Try here. This is like an area where. You can save that shrine for after you've cleared this courtyard if you can. That is wise. It'll also let you go a little bit ham on your, on your spell attacks. I'm not trying yet because I believe there's more to this courtyard, but I do want to put my Harley down here so I can get healed up. Okay. There should be a little ambush rider right here. Uh, and this should have like one of those like optional chests, crafting chests, however you want to. trying to get us. Just trying to get us with his little heart. There's those two chests that I was talking about. A regular loot chest and a crafting material chest. Do I know what Jerry's next server to be on end Wednesday? I do not. I do not keep track of I suppose this is as good a time as any to remind everyone that these videos are recorded as part of my twitch.tv live stream, so twitch.tv slash samuskarobo. If you have any questions, comments, etc. that you'd like to have me answer live, that's the best place to go about it. Oh, she's here. She's here. Ellery knows what's up. Ambush back there to deal with, and then we'll bravely push forward. Again. Houses the remainder of the troops and serves to protect the entrance to the dungeon below. Just remember that hate leads to the dark side. Speaking of the dark side, not to put too fine of a of a timestamp on this video, but but I believe oh there's a liver I need it over here. 
But I just read today that the um, the new Star Wars movie is going to be put on Disney Plus on um, May fourth this year. So I may actually may actually watch the new Star Wars movie. Told myself that. Disney was not going to get my money for any more Star Wars until they decided to make good Star Wars movies again, so we'll see. Right. I think we're looking for a lever and it can be semi-randomly located in these rooms. So we just kind of want to poke around gently. I feel like these rooms are usually, maybe it's a little bit later when they're filled with mobs. Maybe that's where I'm getting confused, but there's a lever. There's a lever. Pulling the lever unlocks a door nearby. Nice. All right, I believe that was back this direction. Get topped up here. Uh, multiple levers and some traps. Now's the time to be buying. Oh, this is where the, the floor falls out and goes raw or a whole bunch, isn't it? Yeah. I, uh, I recognized it, but too late. Roar. 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 This bear is stuck and mounted on a track. A trigger is used to frighten and confuse intruders. Roar. Pull the lever. There's a soft pop. Roar. And an enchanted crystal lights up. Roar. It's part of the it's part of the stock game, my friend. Got to buy low and sell high, right? Now's the time to be buying all sorts of stuff. So I had oh, isn't the other one down here? Yeah. Isn't this trapped also to like the nines? Oh yeah. Oh yeah, it's seriously trapped. There's a trap box for this. Mm. Oh, maybe that was that lever that I disabled the other side. The second lever is pulled. Yeah, it must have been. A rush of air can be felt as the doors down the hallway open. Roar. 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 I don't know. I, uh... I've been kicking around the idea of buying some silver. Of late. Although when I first kicked around the idea of doing it, silver was eleven dollars and now it's fifteen. Silver's all time high. It was like $119. But it's uh like twenty year high has been forty-three dollars. Which uh, still would be a pretty good investment on $11 an ounce if I would have bought then. Uh, here's that mirror area that uh, is kind of cool, kind of a special... There are more special uh, really bit to this quest here, and then is this the quest where I'm made of metal? And a crystal lights up nearby. You have no idea what bonds are. Bonds are basically just uh, giving the government money, and then eventually the bond will return. Or I guess you can buy banks or whatever. But basically, it's a it's a way to invest that as long as the place that you bought them from doesn't go belly up like you know, like state bonds and sometimes too but they eventually return 
or have a set amount after a period of time that they'll pay you back. Um, if you pay close attention, you can actually find some that continue to always build interest after they've matured. I should take this shrine. Part of me feels like I should. Yeah. Maybe not, actually. We have quite a bit of mana still. And this way we have one in case we need to come back for some reason. Yeah, okay, we'll save that one. Oh, there's our boss relief here. No traps. Um, so the reason I do Inquisitive specifically is for these teaching runs. I really feel like the teaching runs, the Inquisitive does a really good job of taking the time to be able to show off traps, um, not have to worry that much about the difficulty of the quest, um, and lets me focus on the actual content of the quest as opposed to trying to just smash through things. So that's the reason why I use Inquisitives for the for these runs. I also still feel like Inquisitives are quite strong, even if their DPS is a little bit lower than they were before. Yeah. While they may not be the top of the tier like they once were, they're still they're still quite soluble. See, I feel like we want to pull these, see those open rows of cages, is a, not an optional, it's a requirement for the quest here. Anyway, I don't know what this lever does, if anything. Aha, uh -huh, apparently you have to pull all the levers to be able to carry on. Alright, sweet. Regular loot. Oh, looks like we got some trash down here below. Basically, we want to just be able to loot the chest without getting hit in the back. That's all I'm looking for. Alright. There are five rings. Unfortunately, you can't feed the five rings to your sentient gem, or otherwise I'd grab it. Because it's a crafting thing. Alright, uh, we'll start this way. Kidney shape room, nothing. Nothing. Okay. Oh, there's the there's our head that we were looking for. So what's this room? A collectible. Uh, we'll carry on this direction. Okay, I started to feel like. Um, we we're going to start running into areas where there's lots of traps. Which again, it's part of the reason why the Inquisitive's really good for this kind of stuff. All right. Alright, 
we should have like a. This is another one of those rooms filled with uh, filled with more rooms, and we're basically looking for a lever, if I remember correctly. But we gotta we gotta clear this big room of rooms for or of trash before we can open the rooms and open those rooms of trash. In the great circle of the great circle of life. The web spell breaks here pretty much right now. We can fireball. I don't know why that fireball just did not target the bad guy at all. Not even close. Make sure that there's nothing else in this big room that we got to take care of before we have to start looking around for the lever. Oh, there's a lever right there. I don't I would not buy stocks based off of off of what I perceive to be short term gains. Stock market is a long term this crudely decorated room houses a large and powerful In my opinion, if I was gonna if I was gonna spend money in the stock market it would be in um Wrath 401s with uh, knowing that they have like a 15% or mutual funds knowing that uh, they have like a good 15% return rate over 20 years. I feel like trying to gamble in stock market short term is, is just that, it's gambling. It's like people who buy Magic the Gathering cards with the intent that they're going to go up in price so they can flip them. I feel like that's just gambling. Alright, so we need a second lever to carry on with the quest. Alright, so we have to go back through here and find another one. I guess we'll start with this door. wonder since we're not since we're not um, sorry, since we're not fighting a bunch of undead maybe we should be using uh, a different rune arm that has an AoE type effect to be fired into our webs Uh, normally, I'd have one of the. Oh, kind of another one. Perfect. Uh, normally, I would find. Wait, there's one big bed and two little beds. How many guys were in this room? Hmm. Uh, anyway, what was I saying? Oh yeah, rune arm choice. Normally, if I didn't have to worry about undead, I would be running around with um, one of the. Ravenloft rune arms, maybe that's the way to go. None of these have a head above them. There's a shrine in this room. Okay, so it looks like 
more forward for us. This large dining hall serves as a gathering place for the fortune. really prefer the cold rune arm. In fact, let's just switch back to the cold rune arm. Even though it's going to be a little less damage because it's a single target rune arm, it'll uh, it'll be going up just a little bit on our regular weapon damage because it, those are powered by your spell power. And our cold spell power should be our highest spell power. Attention, and we'll back up just a little bit. Now, I'm not 100% sure, but I think there's a place that you can stand up here to avoid physical attacks. I think you still have to deal with um, all the various range attacks, but I'm not. I think it's on this fireplace, maybe? and avoid, avoid melee attacks for sure. Is this guy only melee? Aww. Oh. Nice. Get wrecked, son. No, he's throwing spears at us, or somebody is. Alright, now I think we're going to hit that shrine. I think we have achieved our, our mission there for the, the shrine. Again, unfortunately, we can't can't do a whole lot with them besides just use them or sell them. Again, uh, I I actually spent quite a bit of time wearing a five rings this this past life. A glance at the room reveals a passageway leading down to the dungeon below. Right, I guess we're going down to the dungeon below. The rest of her conspirators can be found below. This hallway serves as the entrance to the fortress. All right, I believe there's a secret door the right here. Must be somewhere inside. But you don't want to have to to fight that the trash in there. I believe it's just filled with trash. Uh, but you do want to be a little bit careful, or at least aware of the situation in case if you're on Reaper mode, a Reaper could come out. through these hallways and we want to be careful for a couple of reasons uh, but mostly there can be traps ah this is the room all right so this room has gotten me numerous times before um, if you're wearing metal armor which I am not wearing leather armor you will get sucked up to the ceiling invisible force pulls the um, object you're wearing here we go upwards towards the ceiling the but since I and you can just ceiling, unequip it to run around in here if you were wearing metal armor, but if not, you'll get lifted up into the ceiling. There's a massive fan up there that uh, that'll cut you, cut you real bad, cut you till you die three times. But uh, there's a clip. I don't know what's in this room. There's a clip that uh, I don't remember if I was on the. I think it was on the Hyde Carter server, perhaps uh, last season. 
that uh, Beef throws around all the time, where basically I, uh, for whatever reason, I decided I was made of metal when when I was thrown up into the air. It was pretty funny. Should have should have known better. Be careful of that uh, particular particular trap. Otherwise, your friends will make fun of you for for decades, or at least days, even. The room is filled with spider webs. A soft sound of music can be heard from a nearby room. That's a poison today, huh? Dark Fang Spiders, I was trying to, I forgot a, a pun. Like darn Fang Spiders, but didn't quite, didn't quite come together quick enough in my brain there. All right, what do we have here? Here's another door. Mm, this looks like an unnecessary room to me. Uh oh. What's going on? Did Twitch just die? No. no. Twitch is fine. Okay. All of a sudden, I look up there and everything's black and saying there's nobody, nobody hanging out with us today. I'm like, what? No, we had all these people watching, spending time with us today. It was great. I loved it. And then it like said there's nobody. I suppose we should go ahead and also thank everyone who's hanging out with us today via the by Twitch. We appreciate it. Of course, if you're watching this video after the fact, please hit the like, subscribe, follow buttons. Appreciate it. I'm trying to grow our YouTube channel this year, so anything you guys can do to help others see these this content is of course appreciated. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe there's a problem with Twitch all of a sudden here. Hmm. Alright, I don't know what happened. Something seems to have happened though on Twitch. Some weirdness, perhaps. Pull the lever. I haven't seen a reason to. Oh, there's a head. Some cobalt, so we must must be going the right way. I know Twitch did some maintenance this morning, so I wonder if there's still some some weirdness going on. I suppose I should check the old Twitch. Twitch support feed here. Everything just like crap. I wonder if stream or not stream labs. Uh, I wonder if my restream had like a fit for some reason. Hmm. I don't know. All right. 
We're just gonna hope that it's continued to work this morning. Hopefully you guys can enjoy the stream. If uh, if it does start to break down again, please somebody let me know for sure and we'll get it. We'll see what's going on, even if we have to restart the stream or something. But it's not it's not showing me any uh, any issues with the streaming software, so So we're missing another lever back here somewhere. I'm assuming one of these doors is going to have a lever. Oh, looks like we got the first try here. Yeah, I don't know if this lever is random, but if it was, it looks like we got it the first go around. Kobolds. Carnage Reaper. Now we're actually at a little bit of a, a little bit of a concern. Like on one hand, electric damage will heal the flesh golems. On the other hand, we also would have been able to get. Uh, Smiting on our rune on, or our crossbows head will switch to the you as the door opens. Six of one half dozen another, I guess. Looking devices are scattered throughout this torture chamber. Okay, nothing nothing interesting for us in here, I guess. of crossbow bolts still at 3,000 so we're still in good shape I'm starting to remember something here about a boulder, like Indiana Jones style. There's a thousand bolts. I should say I remember beef laughing at me as I get hit by a boulder. So let's... The door opens to reveal a large castle. The glint of two different gems can be seen down on the cabin floor. Another situation where we're going to take advantage of the fact that we can stand way over here and lower um, the dungeon alert. So down below in here, there's a bunch of oozes and two levers that have to be pulled. So it's probably going to be one of those situations where we try to use the hireling to pull the lever and it won't succeed. But... Uh, See what we can get away with here. Right. 
we're gonna do is we're gonna do this little trick where we summon the hireling as we jump across. That should put her down below. Oh, but then she teleported back up here to us. Of course. Of course she did. Here again. Dang it. Alright. I guess we're just gonna have to ice storm down there because I'm not. Ice storm and sonic. Sonic burst here. They're not taking cold. How about the. Uh... Looks like they'll take electric, so we can just arm them up here. That is a nice thing about having a wide range of rune arms at your disposal. Want to be kind of careful splitting oozes because every time you create a monster or kill monsters, an opportunity to spawn a reaper. We don't want to just willy nilly spawn reapers forever. Alright, looks good. Why? Monster. Alright, there's another lever. I'm not sure why I feel super slow, like we're moving around in molasses. We have all the aggro. We'll send the cleric after um, after the lever. Hold lever, please. Right, lever's pulled. I'm gonna get this uh, soul. Get out of here. Well, not on missing that way. Hole. Jump, 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 jump around. There we go. Success. All right. Again, every one of these caves reminds me of a place where Beef has laughed at me because I got hit by a boulder. So I want to be careful and make sure that uh, I do my absolute best to avoid. Fourteen, we'll be able to switch into the quarantine, which is what we kind of built our built around. But uh, for now, we have to use some not great rune arms. A rumbling sound can be heard. Aha! See. I remember. All right. So if I if I do remember correctly, after this, this is where the this is where the bees start. Bees swarm near their hives. 
Jesus. Surely this room is for making honey. So you should be safe, unless... Unless. I like how they're just like, unless. You should be safe, unless. Uh, actually, you know what? Something that I've ne I never use, because I'm not a big fan. But uh, here is my purple Dragonite boost. We're going to fire that off and try to run through here. Oh, covered in honey. Oh, we didn't make it. Oh, the bees, they're getting us. All right, so if you end up getting covered by honey, you want to get up into this water um, just about as quick as you possibly can. Oh, wash the honey off. That unslows you and uh, stops the bees from attacking you. Also, if you have a hireling, you want to make sure that your hireling gets in the water as well, just in case they happen to run through the honey area. I actually had a hireling. Uh, I came through here, I think on one of the Reaper runs, of, or Elite runs that I did, or sorry, post rule 20 runs that I did. And uh, the hireling I had with me died to the bees because I didn't check to make sure that he didn't run ahead and get into the water. Like I had him on hold, hold position a little bit further back, far enough back I thought he would have been, he wouldn't have run into the bees, but he did. So then he ended up getting killed because I never, I didn't realize that he was getting constantly attacked by the bees. All right, so this big room is a bunch of just killing goblins for days. Have built three defensive positions inside this massive battle. You just gotta work your way through them. Unfortunately, there's just a, a ton. Now we go up here, and there's uh, two right here. They've got this area and this area. Uh, I like to pull this area first, just to, it feels a little bit easier to me uh, than trying to pull the, the kennel area. If you end up pulling them both, it can be real bad. <laughs> uh, so I like to make sure that I just get one at a time, if I can help it. Hoping to knock out the caster with the PK before he got carried away, but not not our forte today, apparently. The hobgoblins outside the barracks have been defeated. All right, and then even if we were to get that guy, he would still open the dogs. We're just gonna. Try to web what we can and we'll clean up the rest of the track as we as able here. Right there can be traps again starting in this hallway. In fact, I'd be surprised if there wasn't traps like right here. Nine times out of ten, I feel like there's some um, very much right at the beginning of this fight. But, uh, nothing set off yet.
Getting pretty good, actually. We need the shrine yet. I think we'll con again, like we've been doing, continue to leave a little bit of extra emergency room for if we if we can. All right, with the GH on, I feel much more comfortable just being able to like run through these hallways. You spot a female elf. So here is a, this fight's not the worst, but certainly not the best either. This, uh, now their situation is pretty crazy. Okay? Uh, I think, because all these things have claw, we could possibly jump on top of this. Although now that we're, now that we're conveniently located on their back, who knows we'll <laughs> Get back out of this mess. In the hallway? In the hallway. I'm gonna back it up for a second. Web in here and see if we can keep the mess down. Second crack it. Jump up here. Yeah, I don't know if it's a thing. It doesn't seem to want to be a thing, does it? Alright, we need to stop playing. We're gonna get murdered. That was close. We almost got it without having to have the hireling heal us in battle. Like, I, obviously, if we didn't uh, screw around trying to get, trying to figure out if there was a place to stand where that thing couldn't kill us, we would have been in good shape. Huh. So after the fight, is there a way to? Doesn't. I mean, obviously, there's not a pull you up point. Oh, I'm wrong. There it was. Did you see it? Oh. Okay, so going from the sides, apparently, is the motto. Is <laughs> the, the the motto? Okay. Live and learn. That's what we're doing, right? Live and learn. And we need a lever up here to pull up force field. The portal barring your path fades when you pull this lever. Uh, this guy is an optional for a chest, I believe, a crafting chest. Uh, and the fact that he's just one guy, I think we could probably... Oh, I don't care about 
Blackthorn springs back and makes ready for battle. I don't know if I've talked about holding down the shift button and moving around in um, in Greece before. That'd be something worth having a conversation in more depth about later. But um, you can kind of move around a little bit if you're shield blocking uh, through Greece a little bit easier. As long as you don't get knocked down, you can still get knocked down, but it certainly it certainly makes moving physically a lot easier than trying to run on it. This is the this is the quest for the part of the quest that I was thinking about. Uh, we have to open the, the free the prisoners. Um, it's not in the first one; it's in the second one here. And the way we're going to actually do this here is I'm going to run up here, get get things attention, and then use the hireling to open the door. clear whatever chases us out in the hallway. You open the last door. The slaves emerge from their cells and escape. Alright. So right here we'll cast this and then this. Basically, in my opinion, by doing something along those lines, basically um, making everything that chases us do that, um, it gives us a good opportunity to to uh, basically get the room weeded down without having to take all that extra damage from the the arch or the I guess they're vile flingers, but. Whatever ranged attacks they happen to be, a thousand volts. Hi, little kobold. What are you, what are you up to? Doing crimes? Okay. 
collect more more craftables for sure. Once again, Inquisitive Powers rescued us from walking blindly into the beam set on fire. Alright. Don't think this is the real one. But just in case I'm incorrect, it's always good to make sure that you're standing far, far away. This is not, that's not the real one. No longer in fraud to the mad one who remade her in her own image. Another five now rings. To find the real so many five rings today. Alright, and there's also a secret door here, but I don't think we want to take it. Uh, I think we want to walk around this direction. This will Before give us a fight a minotaur. minotaur. And it'll also give us an extra uh, crafting chest. I thought it was a crafting chest. Huh, alright. I guess it's just a junk chest. And then... We have this taken care of. So this infight is a little bit tricky in the sense that uh, this uh, the, the, the names or whatever has like a really interesting attacking mechanic from what I remember. Um, she'll basically attack like couple of ranged attacks and then she'll make like a big boom um, uh, like a melee ranged boom so if you're gonna melee her which I would not recommend see that little AoE burst she's got spell one spell two and then she's gonna charge at you and try to do that little AoE burst there it was so you can go back in do some melee attacks Realize where she's at in her chain. Charge of you, melee burst. Alright, there we go. Was now to search for clues that might lead to the slave lord's primary So that can be really a challenge if you're a melee person. Keep in mind some sort of spell, some sort of spell, get away from her explosion and repeat. Uh, I don't remember exactly how badly that hurts, but it does hurt quite a bit. And one of these two chests has like some sweet, sweet loot in it. Must be this one. Although it gave us crafting mats. Yeah, I don't know which of these two chests are like the good one. Boink. There we go, 40,000 experience points. And how, late, how long are we in here? Surely this must be the slave lord. 64 minutes, yeah. See? Crazy. Crazy. Alright everybody, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please hit the like, subscribe, follow buttons. We'll be coming back with part three before you know it. So stick around, we'll see you again real soon. Thanks for watching. Toodles.